Today's lesson is lesson 16, rounding whole numbers and estimating. So here it wants us to round the number 6,789 to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to underline the place it wants me to round. Then I look to the number next to it, to the right of it, to figure out how to round this number. If the number that I circled is five or more, we round the number up. If it's less than five, then my thousands place in this case, or the number I'm rounding, stays the same, and everything else rounds down to zero. So since seven is greater than five, that means the six rounds up to a seven, and all the other numbers turn to zeros. Because 6,789 is pretty close to 7,000. This problem wants me to round 550 to the nearest hundred. Well, here's my hundreds place, and I look at the number next to it. The five tells me that I'm going to round up. So the five turns into a six, and the other two numbers turn to zeros. It often helps to a rounding can help us estimate a problem. Okay, estimating is a, good, a quick way to get close to our answer, and it can help us know if our answer is reasonable. So here it says to estimate the sum of 467 and 312. And I'm going to estimate this. So that means to round it. So I'm going to look at each of my numbers. If, I need, if it doesn't tell you what to round to, just know you'll round to the biggest number. So here on my first number, I'm going to round the 4. The 6 tells me to round up. So the 4 is going to turn into a 5, and the other numbers become zeros. On this number, 312, I look at the number next to it as a 1. A 1 is less than 5, so I'm going to round this number down. The 3 stays the same, and the other two numbers become zeros. Now I can add these together and get 800. On this problem, Stephanie stopped at the store to pick up a few items she needs. She has ten, a $10 bill and a couple of quarters. She needs to buy milk for $2.29, her favorite cereal for $4.78, and orange juice for $2.42. Does Stephanie have enough money to buy what she needs? We can use an estimate, an estimate to figure out if she has enough. Milk and juice are both less than $2.50. So I know that they, their total of those is going to be less than $5. And her cereal is also less than $5. So the total of her groceries will be less than $10. So that means that, yes, she has more than enough money to buy what she needs. We sometimes have to use estimation when looking at graphs. This graph is measured in the thousands, and each line is measured by the two thousands, two, four, six, eight, ten. So when I look at these, lot, these numbers and these bar graphs, I can't always tell exactly what number it is. For example, 1980 looks like it's very close to the 4 line, but it looks like it's just underneath it. So, on this one it says, according to this graph, how many more people lived in Ashton in 2000 than in 1980? So if we look at the year 2000, the bar goes to right about the middle of 6 and 8. So that's going to be about 7,000. And then in 1980, the line goes almost to the 4, so that's going to be 4,000. 7,000 minus 4,000 is 3,000. So there are 3,000 more people living in Ashton. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.